you think of armadillos, you often think of Texas or some dry, dusty region of the country. But they're also found here in Middle Tennessee. Now, this video of the armadillo is in Murfreesboro area, taken just last week near Christiana Elementary and Middle School. This is Davis Nolan takes a look at the spread of the armadillo in Tennessee. Armadillos had a well-established population in far west Tennessee by the 1960s and 70s, and eventually they made their way eastward. In the uh, eastern two-thirds of the state, Middle Tennessee, Eastern Tennessee, we didn't really have armadillos. Um, the first reports I started getting were in the early 2000s. And ironically, the first report he had over in East Tennessee was at the University of the South in Sewanee on the Cumberland Plateau, which is not what he expected. Since they're originally from South America, they were considered warm weather creatures. However, they were able to adapt to the cold and even made their way into the Smoky Mountains. When they showed up in the Smokies, um, which they did a few years ago, um, they showed up at Newfound Gap at an elevation of 5,000 feet. That was the first place we saw armadillos in the Smokies, not down in Cades Cove or someplace at the low elevations where you might expect. But armadillos can be somewhat of a nuisance to homeowners. They really like uh, lawns that are well watered uh, because they eat the uh, insects that are in the ground. And so if you maintain a nice garden and you water it, you maintain a nice lawn and you water it, you're providing a uh, really good habitat for those uh, uh, bugs or soil, soil ar arthropods that armadillos like to eat. And they're perfectly happy to relieve you of them by coming in and digging up your garden or your lawn. Now, because they eat bugs, they're hard to trap with a traditional trap. So it's suggested that you contact a critter removal service. It's also recommended that you don't handle them because they're one of the few mammals besides humans that has been found to carry leprosy. Now, that would be a very rare occurrence, and no cases have ever been reported in Tennessee. I'm Davis Nolan, News 2.